everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 90 review on the brand new Elite Series 90 Bronson Reed and Jey Uso figures. Now, to be honest with you, I feel like this is a pretty weird review, right? Like, I feel like we're on two completely different sides of the... I, I, I don't know, like, Bronson Reed and Jey Uso going together in a review just seems a little bit odd to me. But here we are, you know, we, like, you're, you're thinking to yourself, like, Jey Uso, where the hell's Jimmy Uso? Well, Jimmy Uso was off TV for so long that they figured, you know, Jey Uso could get his own updated Elite. I honestly wish they just would have given us both of them because now we don't have a double jointed arm, updated head sculpt, nice Jimmy Uso to go with our Jey Uso for, for pick feds and all of those different things. So it's kind of bumming me out about it, but I'm pretty impressed with both of these so far, just looking at them in package. And I can't wait to crack them out, man. But if you guys would like to grab these already, you already like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Always grab WWE and AEW action figures using promo code MD Toys at ringside collectibles now for your front viewing window here you guys can see right there on Bronson Reed it does say first time in the line and it's probably the last time in the line I don't think he's getting a basic figure but not too long ago he was let go of the company we didn't even know if we were going to be getting this figure but here we are it looks really good can't wait to crack it open but there's the front viewing window with their with their beautiful images right there on the side you get that same image of Reed and Uso on the back you get another little image of them as well as the rest of the figures in the way Plus a little bio read. If you guys would like to read it, you can pause it now. On the side, you get their names right there, Bronson Reed and Jey Uso. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging for Elite Series 90, man. Pretty standard so far. We'll probably have this packaging up until Elite 100, if I had to guess. But we will have to see about that, man. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and crack Bronson Reed and Jey Uso out of their packaging. So here's Bronson Reed and Jey Uso out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far. A little bit of gripage, which we'll get into. We're going to dive into all of the different things as we break down Bronson Reed and Jey Uso. Again, very odd, man. I, I feel like I'm reviewing a Jey Uso. I need a Jimmy Uso. Where's my Jimmy Uso? Also, I yeah, we'll get into all the things. We'll get, we'll get into all the things. We'll have to break it down, man. But let's go ahead and get into Bronson Reed's accessories and Bronson Reed. And then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Jey Uso's accessories and Jey Uso. So for Bronson Reed's accessories, man, we got to start off with the all-star of the set the all-star accessory of the set which is giving me like all kinds of different vibes for a, a, a video series that i want to start but check out this beautiful cloth jacket bro like look at how nice this is it really reminds me of one of those like chalk line official jackets or like a leatherman letterman's jacket it doesn't have like a big collar on it or anything and there's no velcro on the front but check out the beautiful like bam bam bigelow looking inspired gear is what at least what it looks like to me it really looks like oh i just noticed on the back of the packaging it says since Bam Bam Bigelow. So I don't know if that's because his gear's inspired by Bam Bam Bigelow or just Bronson Reed reminded them of Bam Bam Bigelow. But regardless, this is a badass jacket. It's cloth. It's got the nice cuffs on there. It's very high quality. Fits the figure well, as you guys saw. This is the standard, man. It's got a beautiful skull design on the back. This is the standard for cloth accessories, man. This is just really good stuff. And if you guys noticed, throughout this whole wave, there's a lot of great cloth accessories and it looks like rubber has become a thing of the past, which may explain why, you know, elite figures went up from like $16, $17 at Walmart to like $20, $21. So this is still beautiful though, man. This is incredible. Great looking jacket. Fits really well. This is what we love to see from our WWE action figures. Outside of that, he does come with mic holding hands, which is always awesome. Good skin tone to him. It looks like him and Jay Uso have the same skin tone, so that's interesting. You got these nice mic holding hands. And then you get these grabbing hands right here, which are brand new, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've seen these before. I don't want to get crazy or, you know, I don't know if this is PG, but they look like, you know, they, they look like grabby hands. You know what I'm saying? He does come with these grabby hands, which look really good. Like, the sculpt is really good on them. I like the sculpt of them. I think the skin tone's nice and everything like that. I'm trying to think of, like, what all you can do with these. I would say, like, a gorilla press or, you know, something like that, but not, I mean, I guess you could use it for that, but this is, this is more of, like, grabbing grasping something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that wraps up Bronson Reed's accessories. So getting into Bronson Reed, man, starting out with the head sculpt. I'm digging the head sculpt. I think it looks just like him, honestly, as far as I know Bronson Reed to be. I like the beard. I like the facial expression. I like that he's just a pissed off guy. I like this. I like this a lot. I like the hair mold they went with. Would have liked to see maybe some fadage on the side of the head hair, but nothing too crazy there. I like the head sculpt. I think it works out good. No, no problems with that right there. Going down into the torso, I'm not fully sure, but I want to say this is a brand new torso mold. You got his nice tattoo there. I love the Bam Bam Bigelow again inspired gear. At least it looks 
looks like Bam Bam. It may not be inspired by him, but godly, it looks just it, like it, it's really reminded me of him. Uh, really good ab crunch on this guy, by the way. Like, the, the torso right here is very nice. Got that skull pattern right there. Very, very sweet, man. Like, what a great looking figure. One thing I will say, you know, he does have double jointed arms, but underneath these elbow pads, they put a solid black elbow. I don't know why they did this. I guess to, I, I don't know. I don't know why they did that, but it's very odd to me that they would do that. They did it on both sides, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they did it on both sides. You have his Samoan tribal tattoo right here. Kind of bleeds over on the wrist tape, as you guys can see right there. When you take off the elbow pads, you do have those black elbow pins in there, and they're pinless, so you can't really switch it out. And I don't know. That's just weird to me. I guess they just thought you'd just leave the elbow pads on there. I don't, I don't know. Very odd, but there's a back shot of the figure looking pretty good right there. There's the caboose on the Bronson Reed. You know, he's got like a singlet going on right there. Pretty jack thighs right here. This looks to be the rhino thigh mold, if I'm not mistaken, but they didn't give him bolder shoulders, so that's nice. Black knee pads and black boots like Rhino has. So, oh, look at that. The lower legs are even black right there. So, I'm guessing the knees are probably black as well. I can't see them right now, but that's probably the case. But I'm digging the Bronson Reed, man. I, I like it a lot. I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. Again, I wasn't the biggest Bronson Reed fan. He did have some banger matches here and there, and he moves around really well. Again, that ab crunch is solid. You do get the double jointed arm over here, even though it does have the elbow pad on there. So, when this has an elbow pad on it, the elbow bend is still better than probably a single jointed arm with the elbow on it with the elbow pad on it but it's still like you still get some pretty good articulation out of it so it doesn't ruin it i will say though his arms get a bit gappy right there i guess just because they're so large and like you know they they, they kind of stick out from his body but really nice bronson reed man really feeling this figure i think you'll have a lot of fun with it if you're a bronson reed guy you like to pose him around have matches this is going to be a really fun figure to pose with and for jay uso's accessories man we got to start off with the cloth goods and it's this nice uso shirt that says i'ma get him you can i don't know if you guys can make it out but you can see the uso's face right there or at least Jey Uso's face. But it's really cool because, you know, certain superstars, like sometimes they'll cut designs out in the bottom of their shirts and that's what they did here. They cut the fringe out right here, which is super awesome. I don't know how they did that, like in the factory. Like, can you imagine, like there was something along the conveyor belt there that literally cut this up, which is insane to me. I highly doubt they had somebody with scissors just hand cutting all of them. So there's that. And then they have the little V cut out right here at the top of the shirt, which is really cool too. So I don't know how they did that, but it's very impressive. Like super impressive. Hats off to Mattel. This is this is so insane to see stuff like that. So that's really, really sick. Again, cloth makes it just makes us so much happier as collectors, man. Like, this is beautiful. Uso's getting the cloth treatment in back-to-back -back sets, or at least Jey Uso, or did Jimmy. Jimmy came with the jacket last time, but still, sick AF. We also have our lay accessory. I think that's what it's called, or the, the, the flowers here, the tribal flowers with the white roses with some greenery going around right here. And if you guys wanted to plop that over the head, you can just plop it over like that, and it fits the figure well, so that's pretty sweet right there. There. It would have been cool to see the version that's supposed to go on Roman Reigns to pair with your top picks Roman Reigns or your new elite Roman Reigns, but uh, we can still put this onto Roman Reigns and see what it looks like if you guys want to when we get to the comparison spot of the video. But I like this, you know, it, it's it's about as good as you can get. Like, I, I think this being molded in plastic is better than being cloth or being like a fake or faux rosary kind of feel, so I like that. And then this is what's weird about the figure. He comes with choke slamming hands and mic holding hands. So, you get these and you get these. So I don't I don't know about all that. I don't I guess it's so they can cup their mouth and say, you know, Usos or whatever, you know, where they cup their mouth and they go, Usos or whatever is what I'm guessing. That's the only thing I can come up with. But nonetheless, you get choke slammy hands and mic holding hands. So diving into Jey Uso, man, starting out with the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt, not my favorite head sculpt. Like I like that he's not like smiling and he's not like doing some crazy expression. He's not yelling. You guys know that I do not like when my Jimmy and my Jay are yelling. They're always yelling. These are not yelling. I'm sure if we get Jimmy, probably gonna be yelling, right? He'll probably be yelling, but I like that he's not exactly pissed off. It just looks like he's zoned out or something. Like, he's, I, I don't know. Like it's not my favorite head sculpt, but it's not a bad head sculpt. I also don't like that we're missing, like, a fade over here. I do like this style haircut, because this is kind of the haircut he was wearing, but I do not like that there's no fade on the side. I'd like to see a fade right here, because you just have this beard and then he goes straight up into nothingness, which I doubt that, Jim, you know, Jey Uso would do that, but nonetheless, it's solid. I I'd also like to add some black paint right here into the beard because the beard's a bit light compared to what it looks like and compared to the hair. So it's just a bit off how it's like super dark and then like light. However, solid head sculpt. We do have a nice Uso torso right here. I've always loved the torso they use for the Usos. I think it's perfect pretty much. Tattoo's looking good over here. You do have the double jointed arms. This is our first double jointed arm Uso, so that's pretty sweet right there. Jimmy didn't get the same treatment, so that's pretty messed up at this juncture. Do have a nice white sleeve over here. I think it would have been cool to see it go all the way down to see if we could put this on another figure, but it's still cool to see. And actually,
honestly, I think you could acetone off that tattoo. Like, I'm pretty, yeah, that's painted on, actually. You could acetone off this tattoo right here and give us a full white sleeve. But, Mike holding hands down here, you do have the same. From the crotch down, it is the Elite 54 Usos. Like, the same exact mold. You have the same mold here, same leg mold, same shoe mold. I like the white, you know, joggers, but they could have made... Why, why didn't they give us the black joggers? This is a perfect opportunity to give us a black pair of Usos. You could have given us black jogger Usos right here in this set, man. I don't know why they didn't do that, but, you know, it's it's pretty much over now. I don't know what we can do about it now. Just sit here and cry about it in the reviews. Pretty much all we can do. And then for your Uso figure comparisons, guys, here is Jay Uso up next to the Elite 64 Usos in the red joggers and stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure these had white shoes, but I switched them for red to give them the all red look. They had their jackets, SmackDown tag titles and all that. I just, like, God, this is a base, basically just, you know, they, re they gave us a new head. They gave us double jointed arms. He's got some cool accessories, but it's the Elite 54 Usos, right? It's the Elite 54 Usos from the, like, the torso, the crotch, and the pants are all from the Elite 54 Usos. So, see that redone is kind of annoying. Would have really loved to see black pants Usos or somehow get the black jogger Usos into the line. We need black jogger Usos with black sleeves and black hoodies and black hats. Like, we need these things. Nonetheless, here's Jay Uso up next to the Tribal Chief. So, Roman Reigns up next to Jay. He kind of towers over him a little bit there. Not the biggest deal, but if you guys wanted to see what the... Okay, this Roman Reigns head's not popping off like an interchangeable one, so I, I don't know if that's in, even interchangeable, but, you know, if you wanted to plop this over Roman Reigns' head. And here's what that looks like. It doesn't look terrible, but you do have the hair, like, being sporadic over here on the sides, which looks a bit odd. If that would, like, lay flat, that'd be a little bit different, but there is Roman Reigns with the white tribal, you know, flowers going over there, and then there's Jey Uso right beside him. So there you go. We're just missing Jimmy. We'd love to have a Jimmy. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this 2-in-1 Elite Series 90 review on Bronson Reed and Jey Uso. Really wish we had a Jimmy Uso to go up with this, but I like both of these figures a lot. I think you guys are gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of these. You know, cloth accessories look fantastic. The, jack the jacket on Bronson Reed is outstanding. I wouldn't be shocked if people had that on one of their best figures of the year. The Jey Uso is really good as well. It's just some stuff we've seen before, so that may dock some football points, but if you guys want to update your Jey Uso, I mean, there's no point, like I would say, buy, you know, buy a second one and fix up a Jimmy, but that's kind of impossible because their tattoos are completely different, and we already have a Jimmy Uso in white pants like that, and, you know, what would you do for, you know, the, the rest of it? Like, there, I don't know if that would exactly work out. I mean, you could put the white sleeve arm on there, but then you'd only have one double jointed arm, unless you bought, an, I don't know, there's there's probably a way to do it, it just would, it's pretty complicated at this juncture, so I would just, I don't know, we, we need an updated Jimmy. There's no Jimmy in Elite 91, 92, or 93, unless they replace Adam Cole or the Burnt Fiend or Ric Flair in Elite 92 with a Jimmy Uso, which would be cool just to do it, you know, put give him a white sleeve, give us a updated head sculpt, and give him double jointed arms and all that different stuff, and maybe a black hooded jacket Uso style, and make him in the white pants, or put him in black pants, and then we could make a fix-up J. I don't know, man, I'm just throwing shish at the wall, but if you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, man. I enjoy these figures, I think you will too. You know, Bronson Reed not being in the company anymore, if you weren't a fan of him, I mean, I guess it's an easy, easy skip. If you're a completionist, then you already know the deal. If you're a big Bronson Reed fan or you just want the jacket, I think it's worth the pickup if you just love action figures and posing guys around. It's a fun figure, so there's that. But that's gonna do it for the review, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Jay did. Forgot his brother Jimmy. You cross the line, I've been